The hunting method of the bolas spider is another miracle of creation. This spider uses an irresistible method for attracting its prey, the male moth. Again, it produces a thread that is stronger than steel inside its body. This thread is covered with sticky droplets. It then dangles the thread from a tree as if it were a fishing rod, making little casts and waiting patiently, just like an angler. The spider has an ingenious trick for attracting its prey. Female moths release the hormone pheromone to attract male moths to them. The spiders reproduce this smell and place it at the end of their traps. The male moth cannot resist the trap. When the moth approaches, the spider starts to wave the thread like a lasso. And the plan has worked. The prey is caught. On the screen, you can now see the chemical formula of the pheromone given off by female moths. The substance has a distinct chemical formula and is only to be found in female moths. We would have to go through a number of stages in an advanced chemical laboratory if we wanted to reproduce the same chemical. If we imagine the spider uses its own intelligence to reproduce this hormone, then it would have to follow the same path. It would first have to find a female moth and learn how it attracts male moths. It would then have to take a sample of the pheromone from the female moth. It would have to study it. And carry out lab tests according to the formula it finds. then it would have to attach the resulting chemical to the end of its lasso. However, this tiny spider possesses neither the intelligence to follow such a procedure, nor the education, nor a chemical laboratory. So how has this spider managed to reproduce that pheromone just like a chemist? How did it come to think of sticking it on the end of its thread? Such questions lead us to an evident truth. The chemical pheromone, the moths that produce it, and the spiders that use it for hunting were all brought into being by Allah. These examples once again reveal the art of creation of Allah, Lord of the entire universe and of all living things in it.